All right, everyone. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, on well, Chicago, we got a lot more snow that came in, and it is cold uh, this morning. It's it's about ten below zero. So let's get you down inside the shop and show you the mess that we're working on today. Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. It's nice and cold outside, as you can see. Let me start off this video by telling you, and you wait till you have to see it, the mess that was the front end of the fuselage. So let me go ahead, get the heat turned on, warm this place up a little bit, and let me show you the train rack that I like to call the cowling. All right, before I begin, let me show you some of the carnage that occurred when I had to try to take the cowling off. Uh, because according to the directions, and you can tell that somebody didn't read the directions, um, you wanted to make sure that the cowling was not permanently glued to the front of the fuselage because, well, first of all, you couldn't get your motor on there uh, or the firewall or anything else behind it. So when taking it apart, because it was regular wood glue, um, I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference whether it was wood glue, uh, uh, epoxy or thick or thin CA, it was still gonna come apart looking this ugly. Um, now, of course, when you read the plans, nowhere in those plans they tell you to use carpenter's glue. They tell you to use pretty much just uh, uh, CA and epoxy. So anyway, all right, so these were these were parts because it came it came out in parts. Um, so for the formers up front, they're not they're not in that nice of shape. I had to glue them back together again just to try to get it close for templates. And here's the one piece that is pretty much usable. The one piece is pretty much usable. Now where you had the front the nose part with the screen in it, this had to come out like this. So what I ended up doing was, and this is why it's been a week and a half since I've been back down here in the shop, got hold of Balsa USA, got a full set of plans. And I didn't need the full set of plans, but uh, for, uh, especially with the wings, I wanted to get another set of plans. Um, so these will be coming out before I start cutting uh, light ply uh, to fix the front. Now, the other things I had to do was, there's a place out in Iowa called AK Models Balsa. Uh, I think it's Balsa Inc. And I've got Balsa and, and product from them in the past. Now Balsa is getting really hard to come by. Um, and because normally I rip my own Balsa, I just get sheets. Um, they only had sheets up to 24 inches. I found some other suppliers with 36 and 48 inch length sheets up to four inches wide. Um, but a lot of this stuff at the moment is just not in stock. So it's, it, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a waiting game, but I do have enough uh, wood here to complete the, the build, the fix in the build um, on the Fokker. So I got three sheets of this. It's, it's pretty much three millimeter uh, by 12 by 48. I got three sheets of that. That way uh, I'll have light ply for quite some time because it's something I hate running out of. Uh, now for the screen, I'm watching gravity. It was not a sudden gust, it was a very slow gust. <laughs> Alright, so what I had to do for the screen, and yes, you can go to a hardware store and pick it up. Ow, oh, little sucker's got teeth. You can go to the hardware store and pick it up, or you can just buy it online. I went to Amazon, and what I got was 11 inch by 11 inch, and that's three sheets. Uh, it's 302 stainless, so it's gonna be really good screen material. So that is what we'll be using to replace this uh, screen material. This is a little bit thinner, um, but you know, it's, it, it is what it is. It was, it was cheaper for me to get this than to run to the hardware store and get a roll of this. Um, so it's kind of what it did. What else was there that I got? I got a whole bunch of other stuff too. Um, some stuff for uh, two planes you haven't yet seen, but you'll see them in the future. So I figured since I'm putting orders in, let's go ahead and get those things ordered in too. 
so anyway let's go ahead uh, let me spin around and show you what I had to uh, what I had to go through all right to get started uh, the one thing he did right was where the where the, the 440 screws go through to hold the the, the cowling on um, that's all good that can stay I mean there's a couple little things it's uh, it just needs a little bit of tidy up I'll just put a wedge of balsa in there when I sand it down so it, it, everything's much smoother so I'm not concerned about this but you can see up here hopefully you can how the, the how the, the glue was just running down the front side of this yeah guess what it was running down the back side of it too so when this was removed I went ahead and stripped everything down that I could so this piece is reusable this is reusable of course it's it's kind of lifting a little bit so it's going to need some work on it because you can see wood glue does not work as well as people think it does so this this will get uh, this will get all fixed up um, now you can see on the back side of this when I lift this off for some reason he used he used cardboard as a spacer and look what's wicked in around that cardboard look at all the glue that wicked in so I had to come in with one of my little zona saws uh, where I took the handle off so it's just it's just the blade that's it's used and I've used it for years it's just when the blade needs to be as flexible as you can get to get into cut somewhere so it's just a regular zona saw I just took the uh, took the handle off so this is what I went in and cut on the back side uh, uh, here didn't find a square but I found something that is square all right so when you come on down you can see how it's it's cupping out at the top that's gonna have to be all uh, glued back in I mean there's gonna be a firewall going and you can see how much that side's tweaked out too um, and that's the whole thing with this plane is you're not setting the firewall in place until you have the motor and the motor that will be going in here it's an NGH, sorry about the light, NGH 38cc four stroke. So it's gonna have that nice low end thump. And she's gonna sit in, oh, approximately right about here, I'm assuming. We'll have to wait till we get everything uh, dialed in and ready to go. So of course, this is gonna be up front, which is what it's gonna need because it does have a short nose moment on it uh, because that's the way these planes were, is that the motor was very heavy, uh, so they shortened the nose. Easy peasy. So what I'm going to do first, because before all this stuff gets put in and I do a firewall, I'm going to cut out a piece of a light ply and put some little, little corner gussets on it and just go ahead and just glue it in place. It's just going to be a couple dabs of a thick CA so I can go ahead and knock this out when I'm putting the firewall in. But I want to pull this back in so hopefully I can get it so that it is square. Um, but you know, once again, there's no guarantees on this stuff. All right, it's been about three hours. Let me show you where I'm at. All right, heading over to the plans. This is why I decided I had to get the plans. Um, I've built many planes just off of plans. Uh, so at least I've got that experience. Uh, it's reading the plans and taking the time to read the plans, just to make sure you understand everything before you start cutting. So that part said, all right so now we're not worried about the part where the screen is the part that sits four in front of let's just say it's part of the cowling but it's the forward part of the cowling um this is the way this section this is the very nose this is the way this is going to stack up this piece here the c2 excuse me the cf2a this will be the part that's most inward on it so that will be the part might as well bring this thing over here too just so we got a little bit better reference so when this piece goes in this one will sit all the way back in here up against this little piece of balsa so it's going to go on up over the top so this is going to be the first part that's going to get installed then all the other little doodads that i've got here the rest of this so once this is in the rest of these parts are just for uh the screen part it's around here somewhere there it is that's all of this part so that's what i need to go ahead and put the screen up front so the way that this is going to stack up if i can get this right because i'm sure it's going to be close but not 100 percent on so this one needs just a little bit of tweaking but it's pretty close 
so this piece here will sit down at the bottom and then what they what they wanted me to do I can't really do the way that they asked you to do it with this one just because I took these right off the plans as you can see up here so these are copied directly off the plans so it's just a matter of me getting those things fit out right so this piece here will actually be sitting up here at the top I can kind of somewhat get into place this piece here will be sitting down here at the bottom and then we come into the little cheeks this part here actually stands forward so it stands proud of this so what it is it mimics this piece down here but what it's doing is it's coming in and sitting uh because there's a whole lot that's got to be cut off on this that's why these tails on these outside that's just they left them long so these will come in because they're going to angle out such as this that's where this is going to have to get sanded down it's going to sit outward such as this and then it's going to have two of these one will be inside the screen and then the other one will be on the outside of the screen so the screen gets sandwiched between all these things and when i go ahead and get everything ready to put the screen glue the screen back on this one i'll bring you back for that part um just because for me to try to explain it from here is going to be kind of tough so what i will do is i'll get this final piece here sanded down properly uh, and it's not much we're looking at what a sixteenth of an inch um so it's just a matter of just sanding these a little bit getting it down uh put a square up on the back side of these things make sure that this is glued in nicely and then uh go ahead and possibly because i got enough time during the day it's almost two o'clock um i may be able to get this whole thing all properly glued back together again today which would be just splendid so let me get back to work on this and uh, when it comes time for me to bend up the screen i'll bring it back